Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to derive an equation for fringe width with the help of Young's double slit interference setup arrangement. So let us draw the Young's double slit diagram for our derivation. In the first step, as you all know, you are familiar with that uh, particular double slit experiment, you need two slits. In the name itself, it suggests double slit. So you need two slits. Let me take here. Uh, let me name this as A and this as B. These are the two slits. Now, I will go on drawing the rest of the elements. Let us take dotted line to represent the mark here. So AB represents the double slit. Now let me draw a parallel line perpendicular to A and perpendicular to B and they both are parallel to each other. On the other end let me take a line as you guys know this line is for screen. This line represents screen. So this is our screen and this is our double slit A and B slits S -L -I -T -S, slits now our setup is almost ready so A represents the slit where when the light is passed through air let us take the light reaches this point on the screen this point let me draw a solid line here Okay, now for interference purpose, we need the ray passing through B also to interfere on screen at this particular point. So take a ray passing from B again to the same point P. Join them. So this is our point P, which is the interference point. A is our first slip second slit interference point now let us name this as ENF and also we can also take half of this parallel lines why because we will come to know that later while deriving this will be helpful for us and also you can join this to A and B with the dotted line so A is our first slit B is our second slit now let us mark the distance from B to F, we will take as capital D, which represents the distance between the slit and the screen. D to F is our capital D. And distance between E to F is small d. That is the distance between the double slits. The distance between the slit A and the slit B. This is our setup. And as you all know, we should show the light with the help of arrow mark. This one important element. We should not miss that. Now this is the setup we did. And we took this as half of this. So this would be this would be d by 2. And also this is also d by 2. Now, now we can see here that this is the center of the both the slits so we will mark this as O now for path difference suppose this is our any point of interference and this is our center so the path the path from this point to this point let us take it as X we don't know that so let us take it as X now we are completely ready with our diagram now let us go to the derivation part now as we did in the diagram we just noted the meaning of the respective annotations small d is the distance of separation between the slit a and b here small r is the distance of between double slits a and b and capital d is the distance between the slit and the screen capital d is the distance between the slit and the screen and the x represents the distance between the central maximum and the point of interference the point is p is the distance between the point P from 
central maximum and what is delta x delta x is the path difference suppose here we have the path for this particular ray is bp and the path for this particular ray is ap and they are they are not originating from single point they are from different points so there is a difference in their path and they are interfering at a single point so we need to note down the path difference between the ray that is going to interfere the path difference is delta x in our diagram the path difference is bp minus ap why because bp is the longer one so bp minus ap the path difference is positive bp minus ap now we are supposed to consider the triangle b f p consider the triangle b f p that right angle triangle in this triangle apply pythagoras theorem b p f in this if you apply pythagoras theorem so bp would be the hypotenuse so bp square is equal to pf square plus bf square write down the statement so with respect to this bp square is equal to bf square sorry bf square plus f p square this is first statement take the second triangle second right angle triangle a p e a p e is our second triangle and this is also right angle triangle a p is our hypotenuse so make a same statement from the other triangle a p square is equal to p e square plus a e square take this as 2 now let us focus on first equation b f square plus f p square what is b f here b f is capital letter d just modify this b f is capital letter d so it is d square plus what is f p here this is f this is p so this distance is f p and how can we write f p in terms of the annotations which we have already here so in order to write f p in this annotations we need to consider this x x covers from the point p to the point o so we need to add this distance o f to o p so it will be f p so this distance is how much this distance is d by 2 so adding this distance to this distance makes f p so f p is d by 2 plus x we have x plus d by 2 and we have whole square here so whole square this is our modified equation one again similarly modify our equation two p e square see what is p e here p e is nothing but same x minus d by 2 this x x is from the here to here so x minus this distance is p e and a e square what is a e a is d itself so a e square let us take a e first here a e square plus x minus d by 2 whole square we modified the two equation now just subtract equation a from sorry equation 1 from equation 2 d square minus d square going to be 0 plus subtract this two what you are going to get x plus d by 2 whole square minus x minus d by 2 whole square so you know a plus b whole square formula substitute that formula here and also a minus b whole square formula here see what you will get let me do that a plus b whole square upon applying to this what will happen x square plus b square is d square by 4 plus 2 into a is x into b b is d by 2 minus this minus is for whole thing you should take care of the brackets here minus x square a square plus b square on multiplying the plus with minus it is minus minus d square by 4 minus 2ab it is so on multiplying with minus it will become plus 
टू इंटू ए इंटू बी सो एक्स स्क्वेर एक्स स्क्वेर डी वि स्क्वेर बै फोर डी स्क्वेर बै फोर गेट कैनसल सी चो टू एक्स डी बै टू टू अंड टू कैनसल एक्स डी प्लस एक्स डी वि हाव टू एक्स डी सो डेलटा एक्स is equal to bp minus at we got this bp square what is our right so right hand side sorry here right hand side is bp square minus ap square bp square minus ap square is 2xt is what we got but our delta x is bp minus ap so we can write our bp square minus ap square in the other form so that we will get delta x so this is something similar to a square minus b square so a plus b into a minus b we can write in this form is equal to 2xd so delta x is bp minus ap we got delta x here this is delta x is equal to 2xd divided by bp plus ap yeah x delta x is equal to 2xd divided by bp plus ap now we got delta x value from the diagram we can't take bp and ap see here b this point p is this point a is this point p is this point so we will make one good assumption that is however p is very close to o so we will take the p and o the distance as negligible so we will take ap distance is equal to d you got my point right bp the distance is quite the p distance is quite closer to o so we can neglect the distance this distance so we can take bp as d only and also ap also as d so d plus d bp also d ap also d d plus d is 2d we will get 2xd by 2d 2 and 2 cancel each other so xd by d this is our delta x the path difference of the ray interfering at a point p xd by d now for bright fringe bright fringe there is a condition for a bright fringe where this part difference should be a integral multiple of n into the wavelength lambda so delta x we know x d by d should be equal to n times lambda so in order to satisfy this condition we need x is equal to n lambda d by d i took all this here so x is equal to n lambda d by d this is our distance x in this diagram we got distance x in this diagram now to find the fringe width we got x we are supposed to take next point that is x plus 1 we are supposed to find this point now x plus 1 minus x will give our fringe width that is our final equation we got x now how to find x this is xn suppose now how to find x n plus 1 the next point for this to find x n plus 1 to find distance n plus 1 substitute n plus 1 in this equation that is x n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 into lambda d by small d this is our equation for next point to the point p so what is the fringe width xn plus 1 minus xn is our fringe width is our fringe width just subtract them xn plus 1 is n plus 1 into x d by small d minus n lambda d by small d is our fringe width so take this component outside take lambda d by d outside 
सो एन प्लस वन माइनस एन माइनस एन एंड प्लस एन कैंसल सो लामडा डी बाई डी इन टू वन इज इक्वल टू फ्रिंज विथ इस फ्रिंज विथ यू नो द फ्रिंज विथ इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई बीटा सो फाइनली वी गॉट बीटा इज इक्वल टू लैमडा इन टू द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द स्क्रीन एंड द स्प्लिट डिवाइडेड बाई द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू स्प्लिट्स वी अराइव द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फ्रिंज विथ डिराइवेशन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर अमॉन्ग योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू